the next the next interesting part about 8A2 is the Lewis and Clark expedition. So here's what happened. In 1803, Thomas Jefferson was president. And uh, James Monroe, who later became president, was with another guy in France. Now, France owned the middle of the United States, okay? And uh, they were trying to finance their wars against England. They needed money. France needed money. So they decided to sell this land that probably was of no use to them to the Americans, and we settled on a price of $15 million. Now, $15 million back then was a lot of coin. It's still a lot of coin now. But what happened is... Um, Jefferson was really excited because he knew that the, the, there would be a lot of cheap land for the farmers to use. And remember, he was the citizen farmer, um, gentleman farmer, I should say. And But he wasn't sure if the purchase was constitutional. He decided that the treaty-making powers of the United States government allowed him to make that purchase. And what happened was that what was called the Louisiana Purchase doubled the size of the U.S. at, the, at that time. So we got Louisiana, Missouri, um, a whole bunch of land all the way to Oregon, in the Oregon Territory. So um, in the spring of 1804, um, Jefferson sent his personal secretary, who was Meriwether Lewis, and then his buddy, who was um, William Clark. There were only, like, one, one guy was 28, the other guy was 32, and they took an 18-month trip to make it from St. Louis through completely uncharted territory. My bad. See, softball practice. Hey, little help, little help. And I started at the Missouri River, traveled by boat and by horse and by foot, and it took them, um, they traveled about 4,000 miles. Um, it took them, like I said, uh, 18 months to get there, which means they, oh, they, they spent some time um, in the Dakota territories in the winter, which can be very, very cold. The best thing that Lewis and Clark did is they kept a journal of their daily travels and they explained what they saw along the way. They had help from a man named York, who was an African American. They also had help from a girl named Sacagawea, who was a Native American. And along the way, she gave birth on the trip. Uh, I think it's interesting that um, even though no one knew what the place was like, remember they had to go over the Rocky Mountains, they'd have to travel by foot. I mean, think about if you're taking a journey and you've never been to the land before, it'd be like us going to Mars. Like, we, n we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what was there. They would have come across bears, uh, bad weather. They would have come across Native Americans. They would have come across all sorts of things. And remember, there's no photography yet, so they sketched, they took samples. Um, they cat, uh, captured some animals, they brought back plant samples, and they went all the way to the Oregon coast and saw the Pacific. So if you can imagine traveling all that way and then seeing the Pacific um, after such a long trip, can you imagine what that would be like? Then they traveled back and reported to Jefferson what he just bought for his $15 million on the Louisiana Purchase.